Shalom, friends. This is the Kiva Gersh with Israel in 5, and I want to invite you to bring Israel into your home throughout the year with the amazing and stunning Mayor Panim calendar. This calendar will keep you connected to Israel throughout the year with its listed Jewish holidays and Israeli national holidays, and especially through its 16 beautiful, breathtaking professional photographs of various historical and biblical sites around the land of Israel, each one accompanied by amazing facts about each one. Some of these photographs, in fact, have been taken by an IDF soldier, giving you that very, very unique vantage point that only an IDF soldier can give. This makes a perfect gift for family members and friends who love Israel, who love the Bible, who love history. And the best part of it all, it's free. By making a donation to Mayor Panim, you will get this calendar for free. It's shipped worldwide. You can give it to family members or friends. Keep it for yourself as a way to keep connected to Israel all throughout the year. Just go to israel5.org forward slash calendar or click on the link below to make a donation to Mayor Panim and keep Mayor Panim doing its amazing, incredible work that it always does and needs to continue to do specifically for IDF soldiers and for evacuated families deeply affected by this war. Again, go to israel5.org forward slash calendar or click on the link below to make a donation to Mayor Panim, get this amazing and stunning calendar and stay connected to Israel all throughout the year. Today is September 22nd, 2024, and this is our weekly update on the ongoing war between Israel and the Hamas terrorist organization in the Gaza Strip and the Hezbollah terrorist organization in southern Lebanon. Shalom, my friends. This is the Kiva Gersh with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. There has been a huge escalation in the past day or two here in the conflict specifically between Israel and Hezbollah while fighting continues in the Gaza Strip. On some level, things are starting to wrap up there, wind down with Israel, as we said last week, having defeated the final Hamas brigade in the southern part of the Gaza Strip in the Rafah region. They're still fighting in other areas, but Israel has really come very close so far to having complete control over the Gaza Strip. Again, there still is fighting, and unfortunately, four soldiers were killed in southern uh, Gaza this past week. Um, but the main focus right now for Israel is the north, and it became an official um, goal of the war. Um, to focus on the north and to return the tens and tens and tens of thousands of Israeli residents who have had to leave their homes since October 2023 to return them to their homes and return peace, safety, and security to the northern region. As we know, Hezbollah has been firing rockets ever since October 8th, 2023, and the, the north has been a very, very precarious uh, region as a result. Just this past week, things have escalated greatly, going back a few days earlier in the week to last Tuesday and Wednesday when Israel carried out one of the most incredible attacks on a terrorist organization in history, um, setting off thousands and thousands of beepers that were held specifically by Hezbollah commandos and uh, terrorists, uh, making sure that they are um, uh, targeted and not civilians in Lebanon. You had multiple, multiple cases of Hezbollah terrorists and um, operatives holding these communication devices in their pockets, and only they were injured while uh, or when they were set off. The people right around them, just a few feet, a few meters away from them, not injured at all. And they all went off at the same time around Lebanon. And uh, because these were communication devices uh, handed out by Hezbollah, uh, to them, to their operatives and their terrorists, it was uh, it was a directed strike, and it was it was an incredible victory for Israel, really bringing uh, targeted strikes to a whole new level, only targeting terrorists and not civilians. Uh, thousands were targeted, hundreds were injured, and dozens were killed in in these attacks over the last uh, past week on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then on Friday, Israel carried out an attack in Lebanon, targeting uh, leading top-level uh, um, operatives and, and commandos in the Hezbollah terrorist organization, including a terrorist that has been wanted by Americans since 1983 because of his role in an attack 
um, on the barracks uh, uh, and the, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut and also uh, a Marines uh, um, uh, base, which led to over 200 Americans being killed on that day. This terrorist, Ibrahim Akil, uh, has been wanted ever since with a $7 million bounty on his head for any information about him. Israel killed him and other top-leading um, terrorist operatives on Friday, and that led to a huge uh, barrage of rockets coming from Lebanon into northern Israel last night. Dozens and dozens, uh, even at least a hundred rockets being sent into Israel and reaching communities that so far have not been hit by or targeted by the Hezbollah terrorist organization, reaching deeper into Israel, the lower Galil region, as we call it, the lower Galilee, um, in the Haifa region and the surrounding area. Uh, in the north today, schools are closed and there are new uh, regulations in place to keep people safe. And uh, the Israeli Air Force over the last couple of days has been targeting hundreds and hundreds of Hezbollah tar uh, targets um, throughout southern Lebanon, and specifically and including uh, destroying rocket launchers used by the Hezbollah terrorist organization. So a lot going on here, um, huge escalation. We're keeping our eyes on the story as it continues to unfold. And of course, we'll update you in these weekly uh, videos uh, about the ongoing war. And uh, this is the situation right now in Israel. In the last day or so as well, in addition to the rockets in the north, um, drones have also entered Israeli airspace or come towards Israeli airspace from the east, from Iraq and have been shot down by Israeli defense systems as well. So multiple fronts, multiple borders, this war continues. Uh, we're almost a year into this war. And again, we can say that what's happened in, in, in Gaza, though many soldiers have uh, been killed um, in the process. It has been very, very successful in terms of dismantling Hamas and their ability to harm uh, Israel and Israeli citizens. And that's why the main focus right now really is shifting to the north as um, this entire year, so many, so many Israeli residents have been out of their homes um, and need to get back. And that has become a, a main and primary war goal uh, for Israel um, right now. So keeping you posted, and as always, thank you for your, for your prayers and your thoughts and your support of Israel. All the best and be well.